Do you Kim why and think John Jungkook as your lawfully wedded husband? You raised your head and met the eyes of the guy whom you're getting married to and a shy smile appeared on your face as he was already smiling making you fall deeper and deeper. Yes, I do. You said controlling your excitement as you can't wait for priest to announce that you are officially married. Priest looked at Jungkook and announced, "You may kiss the bride now." Your heart started to beat as if it will come out any soon. Jungkook looked at you and take few steps ahead. He cupped your cheek gently before placing a soft kiss on your lips and pulled back. Your cheeks turned pink as you could feel all the guests blessing you with clappings. This marriage has completed. People started to cheer as you could see your parents looking at you lovingly. The ceremony uh, got over and you were saying goodbye to your parents. Their eyes were moist. You hugged your mother. Take care of yourself. You too. Your dad patted your head. Jungkook was waiting for you in the car. You came inside the car and looked at Jungkook. He didn't even took a glance at you and was busy in his phone. You felt bad but then thought maybe he's busy with work. The whole ride was silent and Jungkook didn't even look at you for once. You were getting a weird feeling but still you were trying to shrug it off thinking that you are just overthinking stuff. Around 2 hours later the car stopped. Jungkook opened the door and got off from it leaving you inside. It was a little heartbreaking for you as his behavior suddenly changed and you didn't even know why he's behaving this way. Later the door opened and the guard escorted you inside the mansion. You came inside the mansion and saw maids and servants standing there to welcome you. You were so confused about what's going on there was no sign of Jungkook. A woman seems in her 60s came near you and smiled. Welcome to the new home. You gave her a slight smile. On the other hand you see Jungkook coming downstairs as his expressions were completely different from what you have ever seen those cold eyes and blank expression you have never came across with he finally climbed the last staircase and walked near you facing all the house workers from tomorrow onwards none of you need to come here his words made all of them shocked they didn't able to understand what he meant I don't want to see any other person in this house except me and my wife. You all will get your salary transfer in your bank accounts plus there would be extra bonus. You all can find work in any other place and now you can leave. They all looked at each other and looked upset. You felt bad because somewhere you know that it happened because you came but you were happy and relieved that Jungkook is considering your personal space. They all started to gather their stuff and leave while you gave them a apologetic look. Mrs. Han gave you a weak smile and was about to leave when Jungkook stopped her. You are not leaving, Mrs. Han. She turned back and looked at him confused. You will stay here. He said that and walked upstairs. You smiled at Mrs. Han. I am happy he let you stay. You already felt a motherly connection with her as she came near you. Looking at her face, you could tell that she is worried about something. I hope you have a good time here. Now go and take some rest. It might be tiring. You noticed she showed you Jungkook's room while you said good night to her and happily walk upstairs. You calm your heartbeat before coming inside Jungkook's room or you can see both of yours. You were waiting for this moment from the time you got proposal from Jungkook. After dating for a month, he asked you for the marriage and because you already fell for him from head to toe, it was the best moment of your life. You saw him sitting on the bed using his mobile phone. You came near him as he raised his head up and looked at you. Go get refresh and change. His eyes were cold. You nodded and went inside the bathroom. After some time you came outside in a towel because you didn't find your clothes. You came near Jungkook. I can't find my luggage here. My clothes are in that. He put his phone aside and looked at you. You tightly gripped the towel around your chest as you felt a little shy that he's looking at you in that state. It is where it has to be. You frown your brows as you didn't understood what he said. Did you already unpack my stuff? You asked as you know he is a type of guy who treats women nicely. He takes care of your every little thing. That's why you love him so much. But this time you taken a back when he scoffed and walked near you. 
Who do you think you are? A princess? Do you think I would do such nasty stuff? Your heart dropped as his tone was sarcastic and now you started to get scared a little bit. Is something wrong, Jungkook? You are not looking in a good mood. I was just saying. He clenched his jaws annoyingly. First of all, just shut up and I don't want to hear a word from your mouth. It irritates me. Only I know how I was handling you all this time. Your eyes started to tear up as you never thought he would become like this. What? You are just handling me? You don't love me? Love? He started to laugh. I hate you. I would never even think about loving a girl like you. Do you know why I did all this? So that I can take my revenge from you and your family. You always live in a fairy tale, right? Now let me show you what the real hell feels like. Your tears started to fall. You were still thinking that it's a bad dream that you're dreaming and everything will be alright once you wake up. Why do you hate me? What do I did to you? Why you wanted a revenge from my family? He took a step ahead while you backed up a little as you didn't want it to feel him closer to you. You are just like your sister who only know how to take advantage of a man. You people don't deserve to be happy. Stop these fake tears because it won't have any effect on me. How dare you to say that about my sister? You don't even know her. He chuckled. I wish I didn't. She's a and a gold digger. Stop it. You are getting too much. He looked furious and grabbed your hair from back as you hissed in pain. Don't you dare to raise your voice in front of me. You know what I can do, right? If you didn't behave like I told, it won't take your father any long to go bankrupt. You are going to do all the work in this house. I've just let Mrs. Han stay here so that she can keep an eye on you. Once you learn everything, I will make her go. There is an empty room at the end of the hallway and you're going to live there. And if you tell this to anyone, then get ready to see what disaster I can cause. He let go of your hairs while you started to cry silently. Why are you doing this, Jungkook? I've already told you and if you want to stay here, you need to work. Nothing is free. You got me? Now get lost from here. And one thing, you are not allowed to come in this room. He walked towards his bed and laid down on it. It's like a nightmare for you. You never felt this much insulted and disrespected in your whole life. How you were dreaming to spend your first night with him but it turned out to be the worst night of your life. You walked towards the door with your trembling feet. Next day you came in the kitchen to cook breakfast even though you didn't even know how to cook. You never st uh, stepped inside the kitchen in your life. You blamed yourself for whatever happening with you as you didn't able to understood his true intentions. Mrs. Han came near you as she saw your pale face. Are you okay dear? I think you should rest in your room. I'll get you if you need anything. You shook your head. It would be nice if you teach her some work. Shivers ran down to your body when you heard his deep voice. He came inside the kitchen and looked at you. Now I only want to eat the food cooked by my wife, so if you teach her, it would be great. You looked down, unable to look in his devilish eyes. Mrs. Han nodded nervously. I'm going now. Oh, I hope you will learn things soon. He smiled at you and left. Mrs. Han looked at you. I know I'm not in any position to ask you about your personal matter, but did something happen, dear? Are you all right? You tried to hold your sob and nodded. I don't know if I should tell you this or not, but it might help you with the you're dealing with. You looked at her curious. She seems to guess everything and maybe she knows the reason behind or can at least help in the situation you are stuck in. What is it, Ajumma? She sighed before talking. Jungkook had a girlfriend before this. He used to take her in this house too. But one day she ran away with some other guy and maybe she never loved Jungkook but he was so serious about her. Her name was Jenny. Your eyes widened as your heart skipped a beat. Jenny? She nodded. You girl then now you understood why Jungkook said that he took his revenge from you and your family. 
we were so shocked when we get to know that he's getting married because no one thought he will move on this easily but maybe he was too broken i saw real love in his eyes for that girl but she just left him like that why did she cheated on him if they were so in love with each other maybe she lost feelings for him or she never had feelings for him to begin with i don't really know you pressed your lips together between your teeth as jenny never told any of the family member about jungkook in fact she already had a boyfriend from so long whom which she currently moved into states things started to make sense to you now it was all a plan jungkook purposely made you fall for him so that he could take his revenge he met you at a coffee shop and you had some conversation You fell for him for the first sight and you two started hanging out until one day he proposed you and asked you for the marriage. Your father's company was about to get bankrupt but he helped them and made a good impression on everyone. He did all that just for the marriage and now treat you like this. You can feel his pain and anger but him deciding to take his revenge from you and your family doesn't justify anything. He is wrong and he needs to understand that. Jungkook was looking at you with a dark gaze as you were serving him food. After knowing everything, you could not even make eye contact with him, and the fact that he turned completely different from the guy you have fallen for. Did you cook all this? You speak without looking at him. I just tried. Mrs. Han helped, but because I still don't know how to cook, he scoffed. All of you just know how to fool others very well. I wonder how many guys you have cheated on. You clenched your fist as tears formed in your eyes. He got up and walked behind you. You can fool others with these fake tears, but not me. This is just the starting. See what I will do in future. I know whatever happened with you was wrong, but you can't judge everyone just based on one person. You all have same blood running in your nerves. You think you'll satisfy that urge of revenge by hurting me? Then go ahead, do whatever you are up to. Your eyes were glassy because of tears. Jungkook massaged his temple as he didn't understood why he's feeling bad for doing all that because his motive was to take revenge from you and your family. But then what's this feeling that is making him feeling guilty? Although he only dated you without feelings but sometimes there were moments he forgot all his revenge and actually fell for you. He knew you are not like your sister but still he thought that he will not going to fall in this trap again. You were cleaning the house in the morning after preparing breakfast for Jungkook. Jungkook told Mrs. Han to only come during lunch time and she leaves after cooking dinner. You get to know about Jungkook and Jenny's relationship a lot, but deep down you knew Jenny was only using him cuz she already had a boyfriend. That do all of you know about him. Nowadays you clean the house and even prepare breakfast jungkook don't talk to you and he always choose to ignore you you were cleaning the vase while lost in your thoughts when suddenly it dropped from your hands and broke into pieces when it hit the floor you try to clean it but a piece stuck in your palm making it bleed terribly jungkook was coming downstairs but when he saw this he ran to you and grabbed your hand which was now red with blood are you dumb how can you be so careless You couldn't believe in your eyes for a second that he is the same Jungkook who is treating you like a maid and is full of revenge. You saw concern in his eyes. He carefully pulled the piece out of your palm as you hissed in pain. Wait here. He ran inside the kitchen to take the first aid kit. He came back and take out antiseptic to clean your hand. When he was half done with dressing, it felt like he realized something. He quickly left your hand and stood up. You looked at him confused. You're trying to fool me, right? You frowned. He left without saying anything and by looking at him you could say that he he said that as an excuse to cover it up that he didn't care for you but in actual he got afraid when he saw your injured hand. Just in time Mrs Han came and she gasped when she looked at your hand. Oh my god, how does that happen? She quickly came near you. I broke the vase while cleaning. I'm sorry. She finished the dressing which Jungkook left halfway. Was is not important. You should have left it like this. I would clean it. You know how worried was Jungkook. He told me to hurry and check if you hurt somewhere else. You couldn't believe in her words. He really said that. She looked at you. 
Why would I lie? I was wrong. I've seen a special feel in his eyes. I don't know why he's denying that feeling. I wish he realized his love for you soon. It will never happen, Ajumma. It's not easy. She placed her hand on yours and squeezed it gently. Believe in God. Everything will be all right soon. She said with a smile while you also passed her a weak smile. Next day. You came downstairs in the morning to start your routine but today something was different. You saw all the maids and servants everywhere doing their work. You didn't able to understand what was happening. You walked in the kitchen. You came in the kitchen and saw Mrs. Han was already there along with other maids who were helping her. She noticed you and smiled. How's your hand now? Much better. You still didn't took off the bandage you walk near her can i ask you what's happening ajumma i mean she understood what you are trying to ask so she smiled and nodded janku called everyone back to work but why did he all suddenly change his mind she shrugged her shoulder maybe he was worried about you after what happened yesterday where is he now already left for office come and sit here i prepare your breakfast You walked towards the dining table with her. I want this deal to be finalized as soon as possible. He gave the file to his secretary while he left. Jungko cleared out a deep breath and swirled his chair left and right. He leaned back and looked at the ceiling. Yesterday he felt so bad. He himself don't know for what he's feeling bad. To treat you like this or no matter how hard he tried, he can't see you in pain. Those moments he lived with you, they were for revenge but he enjoyed. Your selfless love for him and how early you fell for him. He felt himself in you. He fell for Jenny at first sight but she betrayed him. He know the pain and now he felt bad for everything he does to you, right from making you fall for him till treating you like this. Yesterday he kept thinking whole night about the incident that happened yesterday. The moment he saw your palm covered in blood, he got terrified as hell. He decided to not continue this. He is not only hurting you but somewhere he is getting affected from it. He was blind with anger but now he realized that you were innocent and he dragged you in this but ended up feeling more guilty. That's why he called everyone back. Suddenly his phone started to ring as he came out of his thoughts and checked the caller ID. It was from his mom. Yes, mom. You answered the phone. It means you are not busy, right? He chuckled. Yes, I'm currently not doing anything. Great. So I called you to tell you that we are organizing a welcome party for Vyan. She should know about everyone now as she is the part of our family and John groups. Come to Busan for few days so that Vyan will also get familiar with the environment. Jungkook didn't knew what to answer as he was sure that after how he treated you, you will never like to be with him anywhere. Are you listening, Jungkook? Why aren't you saying anything? Yes, I will take her. That's like my son. We will wait, okay? Jungkook ended the call and put it on the table. He rubbed his hands over his face. He didn't tell about Jenny to any of his family members as he was planning to tell them when they will decide to get married. Before he introduced her to his family, she dumped him and ran away with her boyfriend. But Vyan was loved by his family as they accepted her right after when Jungkook told them that you guys are getting married. When Jungko came home you were already sleeping on the couch the television was on there was some kind of commentary playing on he took the remote and switched it off He then walked in and sat on the couch he kept staring at your face for some time as a moment of past flash back in front of his eyes when he first met you he was so blind in the revenge that he forgot he actually fell for you and he always denied his feelings He realized that you are totally different from your sister. He noticed you struggling to find a comfortable position for sleep and there was no blanket also. He picked you up and walked towards his room. He made you lay down on the bed while you woke up from the sleep and looked around as you saw Jungkook standing. He was looking a bit nervous as you quickly sat down. What I'm doing here? You don't need to go anywhere. This is your room from now on. You gave him a confused look because you didn't understood a single word he said. 
He came near you and sat on the bed. You could see an apologetic look in his eyes. I know even if I apologize, it won't change anything, but I still hope that you'll forgive me for what I have done. Did you drink? He looked at you and nodded. This is the only way I can tell you my true feelings. I was blind in anger and that's why I behaved that way, but I don't want to. I want to stop now. When I put myself on your place, I realized the pain and I don't want to give the same pain to anyone that I had been through. I'm sorry for what Unni had done. None of us seriously knew about her relationship with you. He nodded. I was a fool. You don't actually need to apologize. I realized that I was holding her back. She never loved me, but I am the one who wanted to be loved by her. I don't even know if it was a real love or I was just fooling myself. We can't force others to love us, right? He said looking at you, but his eyes were red and glossy. The pain was visible on his face. You hugged him to let him know that he don't need to beg for anyone to love. People who truly loves you will always stay with you. You don't need to beg for love. You will get all the love you deserve from the person who loves you. I fell for you because you made me feel special even though I know that I was just it was just an act but still I couldn't help myself. He slowly wrapped his arms around you. It might be an act in the beginning but whatever I did was because I seriously fell for you. I was just too afraid to admit that. He smiled and patted his back. It's okay. I won't blame you for that. I know it would be hard so for you and I'm so grateful that you realize your feelings for me too because if you believe me or not but I love you so much. I believe you and I love you too. He chuckled. I hope you remember all this till tomorrow morning. Don't worry, I'm still sober. And by the way, did you eat a heavy dinner tonight? I literally sh- uh, started to shake while I was taking you here. You are heavy. You broke the hug and hit his arm slightly. Yeah, what do you mean? He laughed. I was just kidding. I wanted to make you laugh. These things aren't funny, you know. You need to have an idea that women are so sensitive towards these topics. Is this really a big deal? Yes. He shrugged his shoulder, but men only care about their girl and not the way she looks if it's true love. Why do you men always think that we maintain ourselves just to impress you? No honey, we have other things to do and you are not even top 10 list. There are something other things too. You girls are complicated. Tell me what are those things. You shook your head. You are doing it purposely, right? You know that I won't be able to sleep. Yeah, tell me. It's a secret. You laughed.